And Dominic's going to the top. All the while, Ron Zampata is throwing Finn Balor out of here. Finn Balor sent to the locker room. And Dominic Mysterio is in the crosshairs of the best in the world. Look at it go to sleep. JTS delivered. CM Punk is on his way to New Orleans, Louisiana. Finn Balor back inside the squared circle. And ambushing CM Punk from behind. And now the WWE Champion Kevin Owens is out here. An interesting situation has developed between those two superstars. Somebody had to come even the odds, and it looks like the champion is going to be the man to do it. A stunner on Balor. Man, oh man, and now what? Seth Rollins from behind. Rollins with a kendo stick to the man he meets in the main event of New Orleans. A chaotic couple of moments here as we end Monday Night Raw hot and heavy. Tensions are riding high, and that man is looking to win back the WWE Championship. And just days before Seth Rollins has a chance to win the WWE Championship, he's got a chance to soften up the champion himself. It's a pick your poison. Kevin Owens chooses Seth Rollins' opponent later tonight in the main event. But who did Seth Rollins choose to take on the prize fighter? We find out right here, right now, as we kick things off in Oklahoma City. The King of the Ring approaches this Saturday, and tensions are at an all-time high. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Maryville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion. For just over three months, Kevin Owens has held on to the WWE Championship. But is that title reign coming to an end? We find out this Saturday in Seth Rollins' highly anticipated WrestleMania Sunday rematch. The Visionary, the prize fighter, the WWE title is on the line this Saturday night in New Orleans, Louisiana. Kevin Owens set for his pick your poison matchup. Who did Seth Rollins choose to take on the champion? Well, we should have expected this after the closing moments of Monday Night Raw last week. The Judgment Day, I'm sure, are itching to get their hands on the WWE Champion. And with the numbers game with the World Tag Team Champions, Kevin Owens may be in trouble. And his opponent, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the world tag team champion. Well, Finn Balor, of course, was in the corner of Dirty Dominic Mysterio last week, coming up short against the best in the world, CM Punk, in that quarterfinal bout. Well, Finn Balor ambushing Punk after the matchup, and in a surprising turn of events, Kevin Owens the one making the save. Just a week removed from Punk and Owens' awkward confrontation, to say the least, in the middle of that squared circle. Well, you saw what happened moments after Seth Rollins ambushing Kevin Owens, once again laying out the WWE Champion on this tumultuous road that it has been to King of the Ring this Saturday night. Well, here we go, kicking things off from the Paycom Center in OKC, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the Prince Finn Balor, doing the bidding of the man Kevin Owens meets this Saturday night, that being Seth freaking Rollins. We are underway, but I'm sure it's going to be a very interesting night of action on Raw. As we mentioned, Seth Rollins will be in action in your main event against an opponent of Kevin Owens choosing the Pick Your Poison. I'm sure both men are looking to soften up each other 
ahead of the WWE title match this Saturday night. Thibodeau is not drawing any kind of lucky straw. Knows Finn Balor very well. These men have fought on numerous occasions in the past. And of course, the Judgment Day have been up to no good, as always, but especially the last few months on Monday Night Raw. The World Tag Team Champions coming out of the Vengeance event last month, thanks to Dirty Dominic Mysterio. They have put not only Jimmy, but Jay Uso on the shelf. And remember, with Solo Sokoa, stepped up in Jay's place to fight Dominic in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Numbers game in the Judgment Day's corner. Stealing a count out victory over Solo, Damian Priest with the South of Heaven through the announce table two weeks ago. Judgment Day have picked apart that Bloodline crew. And now they are turning over a different pastures, if you will. And there's always been a little bit of a loose relationship between the Judgment Day and Seth Rollins. This is not the first time that they are fighting a common enemy. There's a couple occasions in 2023 where they were battling out with Sheamus and the Brawling Brutes during their time here on Monday Night Raw. And after last week, I'm sure all parties are looking to pick apart the WWE Champion in Kevin Owens. Owens almost counted out. Almost had the same fate as Solo Sokoa a few weeks ago. Luckily, able to get back inside the squared circle. Valor and Priest may have the numbers tonight, but one thing they got to realize is that they're in there with the man who is on top of Monday Night Raw for the last three months, but really all throughout 2024, and that is the WWE Champion himself. And unfortunately, Owens with a misstep moments ago, looking a little bit worse for wear. We're going to take game Finn Balor tonight. We have never taken anything away from the talents of the Judgment Day, just the underhanded tactics that they love to implore. Kevin Owens, your 2024 Royal Rumble match winner. Rode that momentum into WrestleMania Sunday three months ago and dethroned Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins gets his long-awaited rematch on Saturday night, but Owens may be going in with a target on his back. Missile drop kicks into the WWE Champion directly into the corner, and Finn Balor continuing this assault. Into the ropes we go, and another pair of boots. Kevin Owens dropped Finn with that stunner last week on Raw. I'm sure Finn Balor has not forgotten about it. Could be looking for a coup de gras. Owens out of the way. And pulling the rug out from underneath him. Going for the cover this time, not to be. Gotta wonder who Kevin Owens has chosen to fight Seth freaking Rollins in the other half of this Pick Your Poison. We're gonna find out later tonight here in the Paycom Center in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Number one contender in your main event. Meanwhile, there's the numbers right there. Damian Priest distracting the WWE Champion Kevin Owens, allowing Finn Bauer to come from behind and drop Kevin Owens in the middle of the squared circle. The numbers game always being implored by the gentleman in the black and purple. One of the reasons they are the World Tag Team Champions, the reason Dominic even made it to the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament last week. CM Punk certainly got to be thanking Rod Zapata for throwing Finn Balor out in the closing moments of that matchup seven nights ago. CM Punk will, of course, meet the badass Braun Breaker this Saturday night in the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament, a chance to move on to the finals later that night. And that is then, this is now, and right now, Finn Balor continuing to work on Kevin Owens. Saw a glimmer of hope out of the prize fighter, but Damian Priest distracted him momentarily, and the tables have turned ever since. The Judgment Day, a dangerous group, that have only gotten more dangerous over the last few months on Raw. The World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the women's champion, of course, Rhea Ripley, who's got her hands full on Saturday night with not one but two challengers, and Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair. Finn Balor off the misstep right there may have his hands full with the WWE Champion. Owen's got to find a way back into this contest. Is not looking to see some momentum come to a screeching halt. Just days removed. I should say days before his title's on the line in New Orleans. A pop-up powerbomb. And he almost had Finn Balor that time. Unfortunately, victory was not to be. And Finn Balor sent to the outside. Kevin Owens trying to do his damnedest to rev up the engines live and in living color here in the Paycom Center. 
Iwal, Owens now over the top rope, take it out Finn, and you noticed in your back corner momentarily, Damian Priest once again exposing that turnbuckle. Referee's eyes can only be in one spot at a time, and Damian Priest took the fullest advantage. Hopefully, Kevin Owens is going to be able to put this matchup away in a doozy. Yeah. And Balor off the reversal that time. Owens reversal. Owens with a kick to the gut, and it's a repeat of seven nights ago. A stutter to the Prince. And Finn Balor better be counting his lucky stars. He still had a little bit of gas left in the tank. Whether you like the Prince or not, no matter how you feel about the Judgment Day, we all gotta admit this has been a hell of a contest to kick things off on Monday Night Raw, but one thing that I am not a fan of is once again, the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, taking Kevin Owens' eye off the ball. Only so much Owens can do to combat the numbers. Judgment Day constantly with the numbers in their favor. We have seen it week in and week out here on Monday Night Raw. One of the reasons for their great success. It may be the reason that the WWE Champion Kevin Owens not only may head into a title defense on Saturday, not at 100%, but may be going in with an unprecedented loss. All remains to be seen. Never count out the man whose motto is to just keep fighting. He didn't make it this far without throwing a couple of haymakers and elbows when his back is against the wall. Talk about the success of Kevin Owens all year long. A highly anticipated rematch coming up on Saturday night with Seth freaking Rollins. Oh no, Finn Balor headed back to the top. Look to be dropping a knee on Kevin Owens. Nobody home that time, and a second stunner! And you gotta believe that is gonna do it. The WWE Champion surviving the numbers of the Judgment Day tonight by hook or by crook. Balor and Priest tried to do all they could, and I'm sure Owens is gonna be feeling the effects of this contest on Saturday night. But a win is a win for the WWE Champion. Here is your winner. Twenty twenty four has been that man's year so far. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on now. That is the theme music of the Nigerian giant Omas, who several weeks ago went one on one with Kevin Owens, seemingly was just a trap set by Seth freaking Rollins. Well, Omas has got Bronson Reed on Saturday night. And that Vengeance rematch, Bourbon Street Fight, but what the hell is the Giant doing out here right now? I don't like this. This has got to be a payoff by the number one contender, Seth Rollins, to do all he can to get an edge before Saturday night. And wait a minute. Bronson Reed is not going to stand for it. The last time we saw Reed was three weeks ago when he was put through a table by Omos moments after a grueling battle against the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. Reed's got a chance at his revenge this Saturday night in no holds barred, anything goes, bourbon street fight, but right here, right now, the fireworks are starting early here in OKC. A giant. And a colossal Brunson Reed squaring off. Something's got to give. We got to restore some order here on Monday Night Raw. Well, two weeks ago on All-Star Raw, we witnessed the in-ring return of two Hall of Famers, Bubba Ray and Devon, the Dudley boys. And even at this stage in their careers, they were looking better than ever. A big-time victory over Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. Well, we take you back to last week here on Raw when the OC met DIY in a tag team matchup that was really looming over the last several weeks. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, a rough start since their reunion, but picked up a huge W seven nights ago. 
Well, now we look towards next week on Raw, where new number one contenders for the World Tag Team titles will be crowned. The Dudley Boys take on DIY for the first time ever. Who's next up to take on the Judgment Day? We find out live next week on Raw. We are back inside the Paycom Center here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, just days before our live premiere event in New Orleans at the King of the Ring. And speaking of the OC, the mood just changed as the phenomenal AJ Styles walking down the aisle with his good brothers in arms. And I am sure these three gentlemen are not in a good mood after their unfortunate losses over the last several of weeks. Representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles! Well, ever since the OC was drafted to Monday Night Raw back in the month of April, AJ Styles was in hot pursuit of Sami Zayn's Intercontinental Championship trading victories in a series of tag team matches, but two weeks ago at All-Star Raw, Styles got his opportunity. Special guest referee, the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels calling things right down the middle. AJ Styles, unfortunately for him, falling short in that pursuit of Sami Zayn's goal. AJ Styles, a man who held the United States Championship over on SmackDown for damn near six months has not found the same success since joining Monday Night Raw once more. It looks like the bad luck may continue against Ashante the Adonis. AJ Styles blow a gasket. If things went down spiral that early in this matchup, things are spiraling around the canvas right now. AJ might be in trouble. Of course, after the loss last week for Anderson and Gallows, and then the loss two weeks ago for Styles. Those three men, I am sure, are not in the best of moods tonight. And AJ Styles just looking to get the OC back on track here tonight in Oklahoma City. Phenomenal AJ Styles, a future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. But he ain't done just yet. Styles looking to accomplish a hell of a lot more right here on Monday Night Raw. And getting back on the right track could start here tonight. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, you saw their loss to DIY moments ago, and look what that cost them. Very well could have been the OC, taking on the Dudley boys next week in that number one contenders match, if they got the job done. Fortunately for them, Gargano and Ciampa, the victors, seven nights ago. Now it'll be DIY versus the Dudley boys next week here on Raw to determine the Judgment Day's number one contenders. As for AJ Styles right now, just looking to put on a clinic against Ashante the Adonis, who has definitely pulled the unlucky straw when it came to in-ring action tonight. Styles to the outside, picture perfect, 450 splash. Thanks for coming, Ashante. AJ Styles may be looking more phenomenal than ever. The OC starting to get back on track here tonight on Raw. But we want to take you back to last week in Fort Worth, Texas, quarterfinal matchup in the King of the Ring tournament. We witnessed the megastar LA Knight toe to toe against the badass Braun Breaker. And badass not only personifying that superstar, but this entire contest in the midst of the prestigious King of the Ring tournament. Many a times throughout the bell, you thought that thing was gonna be over, but Braun Breaker and LA Knight, outlasting the best each other had to offer, really became a war of attrition, which in the end rewarded Braun Breaker with a spot in the semifinals of the King of the Ring. Unfortunately, LA Knight's luck just went from bad to worse as cameras caught up in the backstage area later that night where we witnessed LA Knight laid out in the parking garage. Nobody seemingly around. We still don't have any clue who put their hands on LA Knight. However, the megastar has something else to say. We take to X, LA Knight taken there earlier this week. He had this to say. They thought they could get away scot-free 
No, no. I saw exactly who jumped me last week. And when I heal up, I am coming for my retribution. LA Knight obviously got his eyes on whoever was the man who put his hands on him in the parking garage seven nights ago. LA Knight's going to have to get himself up, dust himself off, and whoever put their target on the back better be wary because LA Knight is coming for them in mere weeks. What well, interesting situation developing there, but the action rolls on. We have a big eight woman tag team contest here at the Paycom Center. And coming down the aisle, the center of the universe. Checking my clocks, I believe it is technically Tiffy time. The following contest is an eight woman tag match. Introducing first, from Pryor, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. We are ablaze ahead towards King of the Ring this Saturday night. An eight-woman tag team matchup keeps us rolling. Up next here on Raw. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok, the superstars of Brawl, and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday, only on TikTok. We're back live on Monday Night Raw. I'm on the against the The EST has been in hot pursuit of championship gold, whether it's over on SmackDown or ever since being drafted to Monday Night Raw. And she gets another crack at the champion, but it is not gonna be an easy task. It's a triple threat contest this Saturday night as the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, defends the gold against the former champion, Liv Morgan, as well as the EST of the WWE. And here comes another woman who may be eyeing the winner of that contest on Saturday night. Well, Bailey has inserted herself in the conversation fastly here on Monday Night Raw. We take you back to last week, one-on-one -on -one against the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. Chelsea Green at ringside trying to get involved. Obviously, Chelsea Green and her company rubbed the wrong way by Bailey's return a few weeks ago and Bailey's victory over Piper Niven two weeks ago on Velocity. Well, was another victory for Bailey last week, knocking out the lights of Tiffy Time. I'll tell you what, it's an all-star lineup in the midst of this eight-woman tag team matchup if I've ever saw one. And from Chicago, Illinois. You know, Cora Jade has been making some waves over the last few months on Monday Night Raw, and she's made a couple of enemies, but has also made some respectable friends. We have seen Cora Jade in the ring with Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton and even the WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley. And win, lose, or draw, Cora Jade continues to turn heads. I'll tell you what, we may be looking at one of the future main event stars of the Raw Women's Division as Cora Jade enters the squared circle. Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, Piper Niven, and Tiffany Stratton. All four of those women may tell you they're not a fan of the woman in the black and the silver and the purple, but Cora Jade, I don't think gives a damn. That's a hell of a lineup, and it just keeps getting bigger. The woman who dethroned Rhea Ripley just over three months ago at WrestleMania for the WWE Women's title. 
Unfortunately, Liv Morgan crushed by the Nightmare back at Vengeance last month. Liv Morgan, however, never say die attitude, looks to win back the gold in the midst of the triple threat this Saturday night in New Orleans, Louisiana. Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair have been respectable and have been alongside each other over the last few weeks, building momentum towards the King of the Ring. But when the bell sounds on Saturday night, it is every woman for herself, and certainly any woman's ball game when the title's on the line. Well, that is then, this is now. We have this eight woman tag team matchup continuing us forward on Monday Night Raw. And all of these women have really crossed paths more times than any over the last few months. At the end of the day, it all comes down to very similar goals, and that's challenging Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's title. Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan going to get their chance on Saturday night. There you see Tiffany Stratton, somebody who challenged Liv Morgan during her reign for the gold back at Backlash in April, came up short. Just as we said about Cora Jade, Tiffany Stratton, another woman to keep your eyes on here on Monday Night Raw. Going to be a dark horse to take on the main event scene of the red brand for years to come. Meanwhile, Piper Niven, not afraid to get her hands dirty. Liv Morgan, not even the legal competitor. Neither is Cora Jade. An obvious size differential here. Piper Niven taking the most advantage of it, but never turn your back on one of the strongest in the WWE. I'll tell you, fireworks were already guns a blazing. Earlier tonight, when we saw that confrontation in the aisleway between Brunson and Reed and Omash, they're going to lock horns on Saturday, but I think we can expect more fireworks in the midst of this eight-woman tag team matchup here tonight. I'm sure the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, your current WWE Women's Champion, has got her eyes on this encounter. Looking at Bianca Belair, looking at Liv Morgan, and looking at the rest of the field, all women who want to get their crack at the women's champion, and look at the double team by Bianca Belair and the young stud in Cora Jade. Cora Jade went toe to toe with Rhea Ripley days before Rhea won the WWE Women's title last month. May have came up short, but Cora Jade continues to impress, continues to give women a run for their money here on the red brand. Piper Niven's finding that out the hard way. Tag made to Chelsea Green. Two women who are very familiar with each other inside the squared circle right now. Matter of fact, Chelsea Green made her Monday Night Raw return a few months ago in a losing effort to the generation of Jade. I'm sure Green has not forgotten about that. And Chelsea and Piper and Sonya, their luck has not been great as of late. A couple of losses to Bianca and Liv and of course, Bailey in singles contest. Almost suffered another there by hands of Cora Jade. However, Cora taking the fight to enemy territory. A naive mistake for one of the young pupils here on the red brand. Chelsea Green again. Not forgotten about that loss back in the month of April. Meanwhile, Cora Jade looking to get another. Piper Niven right there. And again, naive mistake by Cora Jade. That is where some of the... Again, naive mistakes of Cora really come back to bite her. And we've seen it a couple of times. Trying to fight in enemy territory, never gonna go well. And into the right corner this time, and Cora J delivering a mean strike. And a tag made to Bailey. And I'm sure Bailey is gonna get her hands on Chelsea Green after Green almost cost her the matchup last week on Raw against Tiffany Stratton. Great wrestling contest, if I say so myself, between Bailey and Tiffy. Really didn't need the interference by Chelsea, but you go try to tell that to Chelsea Green. She'll tell you you're wrong. Bailey made a return just two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw, and as we talked about last week, you know Bailey's rode a rocky ship over the last few years in WWE. A couple of nagging injuries really kept Bailey in and out of action. Really never got a chance over on SmackDown to sustain some momentum and make an impact in the division, but Bailey feeling the best she has had in several years, and now here a part of Monday Night Raw and has already made an impact and certainly made some enemies. And every woman standing across from her tonight, certainly somebody who I think Bailey would consider an enemy. Piper Niven fell short to Bailey just two weeks ago on TikTok on Velocity. Piper Niven picking up right where she left off. She dominated a lot of that contest against Bailey. 
Piper Niven looking to get that victory back here tonight. No KC. Bailey in enemy territory. Back against the wall. Nice counter out that time. A great wherewithal by Bailey trying to pick the ankles. And look at this. Going to steal the victory for her team. Not just yet. That is the veteran instincts of Bailey. Or Jade can watch and learn a thing or two from a woman who has really done it all in this industry. Look at this. Look at Piper Niven. So strong and dare I say agile. See Liv Morgan ready to get in there and get her hands on Piper after the cheap shot earlier. Bailey still got some fight left in her in this physical eight woman tag tonight. Piper making the tag to Tiffany Stratton. Tag made to Bianca Belair. We are back where we started in this contest. Yet another missile drop kick by the Buff Barbie. Not enough to keep the EST down. Bianca Belair picking up some momentum for herself ever since getting drafted back to Monday Night Raw. Victory over Chelsea Green several weeks ago. Took on Rhea Ripley. Was counted out for the women's title. And where Bianca and Liv went 2v2 against Chelsea and Sonya just a few weeks ago. Another W in their column. Momentum, I would say, is on the side of the challengers. Heading into Saturday night, but Rhea Ripley obviously been pretty untouchable ever since winning back the women's championship and even prior to it. Look at Tiffany Stratton right now, just wearing down Bianca Belair in the corner and giving everybody a cheap shot. I'll tell you what, Tiffany Stratton and company, nobody afraid to get their hands dirty. Is Sonya Deville going to get tagged? What the hell? What the hell is going on? Seth freaking Rollins ambushing the WWE Champion backstage here at the Paycom Center. Seth Rollins doing all he can over the last few weeks to get the edge over the man who beat him back at WrestleMania and ended his WWE title reign. And Rollins... Sending Kevin Owens right to the concrete wall. That is absolutely ridiculous. Kevin Owens already in action tonight. Seth Rollins in your main event. But just as we saw last week, Rollins getting a head start. Trying to beat down Kevin Owens at every turn. We'll, we'll talk about that, to, that instance, that situation. More coming up later in our main event. Seth Rollins still in action here tonight. Absolutely ridiculous by the upcoming challenger, but nonetheless, eight-woman tag team action continues here on Raw. Liv Morgan has been tagged in, going 1v1 against a woman she is very familiar with, and Tiffany Stratton. And Liv Morgan with that oblivion variation. Go for the cover here, but again, trying to fight in enemy territory has been the detriment to Liv Morgan and company here tonight. Oh, Sonya Deville taking a hard fall. Liv tagging in one of her opponents on Sunday, but a woman who has been one of her partners over the last few weeks, Bianca Belair, was eyeing up Tiffany, going for a spear it looked like, but Tiffany Stratton off the reversal. Oof. Some disrespect that time. Tag made to Piper Niven, Bianca Belair eyeing up. The opposer, get a load of that KOD! And will that do it? Again, another conclusion that could have been had. But Tiffany Stratton breaking up the pinfall. And Bianca Belair taking her out off the apron again. And all these women scratching and clawing for victory tonight. Piper Niven looking worse for wear off that KOD. Bianca Belair maybe feeling froggy coming off the top and dropping the hammer. Tag made to Bailey. But you can't say Bianca and Liv, who will be opponents on Saturday, along with their two partners, aren't working like a well-oiled machine tonight. Bailey with the rose plant. Stacking the offense, one maneuver at a time. That's going to be a big-time victory for Bailey and company. I'll tell you what, Bailey continues to insert herself into future championship conversations here on Raw. Cora Jade continuing to impress, continuing to climb the ranks. Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair looking better than ever ahead of their championship match on Saturday.
Bianca and Liv partners over the last few weeks, and they have been victorious at that. But only one woman can have a chance to defeat Rhea Ripley and win the gold. It's a triple threat match this Saturday night. It was back on May 4th at SmackDown's Battleground where the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns came up short in his pursuit of Guther's World Heavyweight Championship. We have not seen Roman since then, but we can confirm that coming up in two weeks time, right here on Monday Night Raw, Roman Reigns is back. And with all the business that the Judgment Day has had with the Usos and Solo Sokoa as of late, is that why Roman Reigns is targeting the red brand? We find out in two weeks when the Tribal Chief returns. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, we head towards this Saturday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. It is the 2024 King of the Ring. And coming up, in the semi-finals of the tournament, representing SmackDown, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and the Czar Ilya Dragunov outlasting their competition this past Friday night. They steamroll into New Orleans on Saturday. And representing the red brand in the semi-finals for the first time ever, the badass Braun Breaker continues to make ways, but can he turn away one of the best in the world, CM Punk, in the semifinals? Well, fireworks came to be earlier tonight when Bronson Reed and Omos met in the aisle way, but they will meet from bell to bell with absolutely anything goes in a bourbon street fight on Saturday night. Bronson Reed won the battle at Vengeance a number of weeks ago, but will he win this war? Courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, the Women's World Championship is on the line. The genius of the sky, Io Sky, outlasting two rounds of the Eliminator. And now she gets her opportunity to dethrone the champion Raquel Rodriguez in her very first defense. Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan, very friendly over the last few weeks. But when that bell sounds on Saturday night, it is every woman for herself. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley, the odds stacked against her as she defends the WWE Women's Championship in a triple threat match. The SmackDown main event coming your way for the World Heavyweight Championship sees the almighty Bobby Lashley taking on the Ring General Guther, a rematch 16 months in the making from WrestleMania 2023. This time the stakes couldn't be higher. And speaking of WrestleMania rematches, just over three months since their first encounter at WrestleMania Sunday, they cross paths again. The prize fighter Kevin Owens, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, the WWE Championship is on the line this Saturday night. And who will make their way to the finals of the King of the Ring Tournament? Two of these four will battle it out in the main event on Saturday night. The winner not only wears the crown of the king, but punches their ticket to SummerSlam this August for an opportunity at their brand's world championship. Braun Breaker, CM Punk, Ilya Dragunov, Cody Rhodes. It is down to four. Who will be the king of the ring? We find out live this Saturday. But it is main event time for the Paycom Center in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And unfortunately, this is not the first time we are seeing Seth freaking Rollins tonight. Ambushing Kevin Owens in the backstage area. Rollins looking to get ahead before his title opportunity this Saturday in New Orleans. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! 
Well, the visionary has got to be satisfied with his work over the last five weeks ever since determining he would fight Kevin Owens for the WWE title. He has put Owens through the announce table. Curb stomped him in the middle of the ring. Last week, the ambush with the kendo stick. And earlier tonight, the backstage assault by hands of the number one contender. Kevin Owens may be the champion, but it just feels that he may be the underdog heading into a matchup with a man they once called the architect. And Seth Rollins has certainly put a game plan together to the fullest fruition. But Kevin Owens has chosen Rollins' opponent tonight, and it couldn't have gotten any better than the champion. Well, Kevin Owens has been of a roller coaster night, but if there's anything that can put a smile on the WWE Champion's face, that's seeing his best friend, the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, do a number on the number one contender, Seth freaking Rollins. His second match in tonight's Pick Your Poison. Owens was able to overcome Finn Balor at the top of the hour. Will Seth Rollins have the same luck? The Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, you gotta believe, is dead set on turning away the challenge of the Visionary tonight. We are underway with your Monday Night Raw main event and Seth Rollins hot out of the gate, off the swing blade. You gotta believe Seth Rollins is looking to get this matchup done in a hurry, save his stamina for this Saturday. when he is going into a matchup with, well, you gotta believe it's gonna be a beaten WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. Owens obviously laid out with the kendo stick seven nights ago. A physical matchup with Finn Balor at the top of the hour. Rollins trying to stick the Nigerian giant Omos on Kevin Owens once more. Thankfully, Brunson Reed putting a stop to it. Seth freaking Rollins obviously made up for that misstep by laying out Kevin Owens in the backstage area. Seth Rollins, a man who held the WWE Championship here on Raw from... August of 2023, all the way up till Sunday night, March the 3rd, just a few months ago. The one thing that really was highly talked about throughout the reign of Seth freaking Rollins is that no matter the odds that were stacked against him, he seemingly always found a way to win. Whether it was a last man standing match, a hell in a cell against five other superstars, a triple threat, a battle against monsters and Celtic warriors, Seth Rollins did it all, survived it all, throughout his championship reign. And it seems as if Rollins over the last few weeks is starting to tap back in to that very mindset. Meanwhile, Sami Zayn on the other hand does not give a damn what's going through the mind of the visionary, is just looking to do one good by his best friend. Tope to the outside, unfortunately Seth Rollins turning things around on the Intercontinental Champion. Sami Zayn sent spine first into that barricade, two weeks removed from a hell of a contest against the phenomenal AJ Styles at All-Star Raw. We saw AJ Styles in action earlier tonight, looking to get back on track. Worked out for him. However, Sami Zayn now visiting a matchup against the Visionary. Not looking to get back on track. Seemingly the other way around, just trying to keep his momentum at a high. And this maneuver certainly putting Zayn in the right direction. Little suplex to the outside. The number one contender's got to be feeling worse for wear. As I'm sure what Kevin Owens loves to see. Sami Zayn with his eyes locked, throwing a couple of closed fists on Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins off the reversal. Seth freaking Rollins putting together the game plan as we mentioned over the last few weeks. Turned away the challenge of LA Knight at Vengeance, became the number one contender in a physical matchup against Brunson Reed. And has taken any chance he can to knock down Kevin Owens a few pegs ever since. Now Rollins looking to complete his work on Saturday night, but one more game plan to put into fruition, and that's turning away the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Off the buckle bomb, Zayn able to survive. Seth Rollins looking to get this matchup done in a hurry. Going for a kick to the gut, not to be. 
You know, Sami Zayn is not going to leave any stone unturned trying to keep down Rollins tonight. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is this? Dominic Mysterio. Oh, come on. He's not even coming out here. It was a damn distraction on the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. And now Seth Rollins going to rig the rewards. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Rollins off the curb stomp. That damn loose partnership that we've seen between the Judgment Day and Seth Rollins once again pays Rollins dividends. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins! You know, week in and week out, it's just something. It's always something with the Judgment Day. And now look, Seth Rollins, wait, 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 wait a minute, what the hell now? Rhea Ripley, the women's champion, and Liv Morgan at the top of the stage. Seth Rollins picking up a victory, thanks to Dirty Dominic Mysterio. And now another member of the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley, all her history with Liv Morgan. Rhea trying to take out, shall I say, eradicate one of her opponents for Saturday night before we get to New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, come on now, not on the steel great Rhea Ripley with a rip tied to one of her number one contenders. The Judgment Day and Seth Rollins, a partnership that continues to benefit both sides. But what will happen this Saturday night when we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2024 King of the Ring?